For Susan Hickman, this day has just begun, on June 14th. That warm morning she walked in the morning as usual, but she did not know that a strange creature had entered her garden. Susan believes a stroll in the garden is an ideal way to strengthen her relationship with Hannah and Ruby's other pets. On this day, she found a light blue egg with no marks on it. This egg looks like it fell from the nest, and there is a small crack in the shell. Susan was worried about the life of this little creature in the egg, but when she heard the singing from the egg, she had a little hope, and the beep of her curiosity radar was even louder. She picked up the strange-looking egg and looked carefully, and found that a crack appeared in the shell shortly after a little creature began to appear. Susan immediately fell in love with the small incubator sitting in her palm. When the incubator came completely out of its shell, she realized that the egg belonged to a bird, but she did not know what kind of bird it was, so she searched the garden for signs of the nest, but found no unknown where the egg had come from, and at that moment she decided to comb the young bird for a while, which was better than taking the newborn home and leaving it there to die. Susan made a makeshift incubator and put the chicks in it, though not as comfortable as the warmth of the mother bird. Susan was determined to make the newborn as comfortable as possible, because when this was the first time she had raised an animal with feathers, she asked experts for advice, and they all gave her the same answer, and they all warned me that it might not survive. She explained in a video on her YouTube channel that although the comments didn't want Susan to know much about her situation, and even though she knew the bird's chances of surviving were slim, she was still optimistic that day. That night, she gave a name to the newly hatched bird, which she hoped would survive the next day. This bird proved that it won't go anywhere soon. Contrary to what experienced bird survivors say, the bird survives at night, but like every newborn, it must be fed. To Susan's surprise, it will become more difficult to raise this bird. Considering the environment in which it was born, Susan is more than she thought. For the first two weeks, Susan fed him soaked cat food every 20 to 30 minutes, which was mixed with applesauce, boiled eggs and bird vitamins. The little bird was full, and as time went on, its wings grew stronger and stronger, and began to look more like an ordinary bird. More feathers began to appear on the bird, and it didn't look so strange. Susan did not yet know what kind of bird Klinger was developing into, so she decided to give him more time a week after his miraculous birth. Klinger opened his eyes for the first time to see the world, and when Klinger saw his foster mother, the face of the generous woman who had been caring for him greeted him. It increased Klinger's trust in Susan, as if the bird would get the best care when it knew it would grow more feathers. Susan soon discovered that Collinger was a mina because of its obviously short tail and slender beak. Susan also noticed that when Collinger flew, its wings were short and pointed, and it looked like a small quadrangle star. She hoped that one day, when he matured, by doing so, she could put him into the wild with this little fellow by her side. It was fascinating experience after experience, as he had left his mark on Susan, the human mother. He soon learned how to do various other activities, such as bathing himself, feeding himself and playing with toys. Taking a bath is his favorite thing to do besides waiting for the interesting part. Klinger is also learning how to speak, and although his language is not as clear as ours, the birdie deserves a bonus for trying something between the two. But a year after Klinger was discovered, Susan had to make a difficult decision, and she had to give up the strange baby bird she found in the garden when she grew up to be a beautiful mina, and more importantly, it stole the heart of the woman who saved it. Can she let it go? Is it ready to go back to the wild? There are many skills needed to survive that bird parents teach their cubs, which I can't do. If it is released into the wild, it will probably not survive. Susan further explained in the video that she realized that if she let him go, it would do him more harm than good. Susan was lucky that she lived in a state where it was not illegal to keep Mina as a pet, so she kept the bird and continued to raise it. Now, Ringer is with his poor good mother and other pets every day. Susan is not the only woman who selflessly adopted the bird. Another lady did an incredible thing. 
she saved a bird with her hair. British-born photographer, copywriter and conservationist Hannah Taylor, who loved birds as a child, would chase around in the air pretending she had wings like wings when she saw them flying, yet Hannah developed obsessive-compulsive disorder at the age of eight, which became more and more serious as she grew older, but did not know that her time in Ghana was just the beginning of a story that she would live on forever. Moving to Ghana wasn't that interesting at first. Hannah once said that the longer I spend alone, the more vulnerable and embarrassed I become. But after five years of hard work, Hannah and her husband moved to remote Akasambo in Ghana, surrounded by the perfect habitat for cold-blooded animals such as tall bush cobras. One day Hannah stumbled upon something that forever changed her view of her mental state. She noticed that the downpour of the previous night had shaken off some nests on mango trees. She leaned in and looked and noticed a one-month-old bronze-winged mannequin finch. Hannah remembered to leave the bird on the muddy ground, hoping his mother would come and see the soon lost child, but it did not happen. At dusk that day, Hannah knew that if she left the bird there, the nearby cobras would feast on it, so when she held it in her hand, she took it away. She put the fledgling bird in a homemade nest, where she made a box of cardboard lined with some dishwashing towels. Over the next few days, as time went on, the surrogate spent half a day caring for her new friend, and Hannah realized that the bird was helping her deal with obsessive-compulsive disorder, and the chemical reaction between the two became more intense. The little bird's wings nested in her hair, and it flew there whenever he felt she hadn't paid him enough attention. Hannah revealed that when it was time to say goodbye to her little friend, her husband Robin released the fledgling bird into the wild three times, but the bird was not ready to let go of his favorite human. Only on the fourth attempt did the bird finally fly high and strong with his wild flock and never return. Hannah says she cries every time she thinks about the bird, but she is grateful to be part of his life story, and she has also contributed her book, The Foundry Birds. Which part of these stories is your favorite? Nature is amazing. Not only does it possess many puzzles, but it can also be naughty at times, breaking the rules unawares and creating things that take people by surprise. The dog was particularly shocked in the slightest by the fact that it gave birth to a strange-looking animal after becoming pregnant. However, its siblings were all normal. Why was this? What exactly does this dog's baby look like? It fits the role in the movie perfectly. Its birth broke the conventional genetic inheritance phenomenon that is rarely seen in the evolutionary history of dogs. So, how is this a strange dog in the end? What's its amazing story? In Nova Scotia, Canada, there was an ordinary couple who lived a peaceful and quiet life, so they didn't expect their dog to give birth to an unusual baby. Their female dog's name was Flea and became pregnant at the age of three. Since it wasn't its first pregnancy, the couple had some experience. In order to make it as smooth as before, they took extra care of its condition and took good care of it. Apparently, the couple loved the dog and it had no problems with the baby it gave birth to last year. How would the couple react after seeing the peculiar dog pup that was about to be born? Due to the anticipation of this mama dog's babies, the couple took it for an ultrasound before it went into labor. This vet told her that this mama dog was pregnant with eight baby dogs. The couple was happy to hear this and waited for the mother dog to give birth. Not long after, the mother dog finally went into labor. The first baby dog was born and it was beautiful, cute and healthy, with a very strong body. This is a good indication that the couple took good care of the mother dog during the pregnancy. After that, all six babies were born and they were all healthy and beautiful. The mother dog had a good delivery, so the couple was relieved that the other two babies must have been normal. The mother dog sat down to rest for a while after giving birth to the sixth baby dog. Forty minutes later, the seventh baby dog was born, and when the couple went up to check it out, they froze and even suspected that they were blind. After the mother dog saw the baby dog, it couldn't take it, 
and even turned away from the baby dog in surprise. It did not know why its baby would look like this. What did the dog look like? Why were its owner and mother so shocked? In fact, it looked just like the main character in The Hulk. Yes, you may have seen a white dog, a black dog, a golden dog, a gray dog, a brown dog, but you certainly have not seen a green dog. They have no counterpart in the dog's genetic system. This baby dog was all green, like spring grass. Although this dog is pretty, this color is not normal. You certainly don't see many green animals in the animal kingdom. Small animals, such as squirrels, hedgehogs, cats, rabbits and antelopes, large animals, tigers, lions, leopards and elephants are not green. Due to its peculiar color, this dog not only shocked its owner and mother after its birth, but also attracted the attention of others. They were surprised to learn that the couple's dog had given birth to a green baby dog and wondered what had happened. The couple was also puzzled by this, and they had searched the internet to find out why the dog's hair was green after it was born. Some people said that green dogs do exist in the world, but the probability of this is very low and is very rare. The couple did not expect this to happen to their dog. Thankfully, the dog was green, but it was healthy. However, the couple was not sure if it was healthy, so to make sure there was nothing else wrong with it, they took it to the vet and asked the doctor why the dog was green. The vet examined the dog and told the couple that the dog was fine and healthy, but he didn't know why it was green. The couple became reassured after hearing that as long as there was nothing wrong with that dog, it would not experience pain afterwards. Although the dog's color surprised them, they did not mind it. However, the couple was concerned that the dog's color was caused by some congenital disease and that it had complications. To determine this, they took the dog to a specialist. This expert reassured the couple by telling them that the dog was perfectly healthy and that the color of its fur did not give it any bad effects. According to genetics, that dog's mother could never give birth to a dog with green hair, so they didn't know what was happening. Could it be that the dog had a genetic mutation? Would it lead the genetic innovation and evolution of other dogs? However, no one knew the answer. Was this puzzle really unsolvable? Well, at that time, a leading expert gave an extremely shocking explanation. He thought that the baby dog's fur might have turned green while it was in its mother's tummy. In other words, the pup was green because of the poop it and its siblings pooped in their mother's womb. At that time, because it was still a fetus, its body was particularly tender, so the pigment of the fetal poop was more likely to infest its body, and thus it turned green. This conclusion is really embarrassing, fortunately it was dyed very evenly, otherwise it was really ugly. However, its owners didn't dislike it, they just wanted them to be healthy. They even thought the green dog seemed to make people feel fresh. In summer, they would feel soothed after seeing it, which is just so cool. The mother dog was initially shocked and didn't want to be near the baby, but when it responded, it gently took it into its arms and nursed it. Driven by motherly love, it put aside its prejudice and cared for it like any other baby. Since the dog was green, its owner gave it a cool name, Hulk, the same name as the Hulk. Although the dog is green, but the couple and the mother dog treated it normally, fed it and played with it. Over time, Hulk grew up to bring them a lot of fun. The couple was happy and proud of its green fur and thought it was like a charming landscape. This expert told the couple that since the dog's green fur was probably dyed from fetal poop, it was possible that it would slowly turn a normal color as it got more baths. In fact, the couple loved Hulk's color and even wanted it to stay that way. They had said they wished it would stay the same green color, that would be really cool. In fact, the couple did not care about the appearance of that dog, as long as it was healthy and happy, they were satisfied. Perhaps, the dog's mother thought the same way. It usually treated that green dog pup like any other dog pup and pampered it. 
I have to say, mother's love is really too great to accommodate all special situations. No matter what others think of that green dog, that mother dog will not leave it. Okay, that's the story of today. If you like it, please click subscribe, like and comment. We will continue to tell you more touching stories of animals, so we will see you next time.